Hello, I'm Dr. Patricia Mills, and today I wanted to explain to you how the experience of stress can imbalance your hormones to the point where it can even affect your fertility. Yes, it's that important. So what happens is that stress is dealt with by the body by producing a hormone called cortisol. And uh, so cortisol is a stress hormone. It's very important. We don't want too little or too much of it. And the building blocks for cortisol are the same building blocks that are used to produce our sex hormones, including a hormone progesterone. So um, the body, when it's making progesterone and cortisol, the first um, uh, end product of that is the progesterone. And then if we need to make cortisol, uh, the body will take progesterone and convert it into cortisol. Well, uh, progesterone is uh, released after the egg is released from the ovary by the sac that's left over from the egg being released, and it, it, it's called the corpus luteum. And that corpus luteum pumps out progesterone. And if we get pregnant and we uh, uh, and that signal is sent um, throughout the body that, oh, there's a pregnancy, there's a, a fertilization of the um, egg with the sperm, then there's a message to that um, corpus luteum to continue to um, produce progesterone and that supports the um, beginning of the pregnancy. So what happens is that if you are in a state of really high stress, um, and you may not even feel like you're in a state of really high stress, but your body's stressed out either emotionally or physically. So even like really hard, heavy workouts, for example, is a physical stress. Um, or if you have like a really stressful life or even just regular life stress and you're not coping well with it. And so you need a lot of cortisol to help with the coping. You can actually be decreasing your project, uh, production of progesterone and that can imbalance your hormones to the point where, um, you can't maintain your pregnancy beyond, for example, the first trimester. Um, and that could result in either no pregnancy or a miscarriage, right? Um, so the um, we pay a lot of lip service to stress in society, and that's um, the difference between knowledge and wisdom. So knowledge is knowing something, and wisdom is the application of it. So what we need to do is we need to engage the wisdom of understanding the effects of stress on the hormones in our body and engage every single thing that we know um, to get stress um, better uh, dealt with, be that meditation, breath work, um, gentle yoga, qigong, tai chi, walking in nature, um, watching a funny movie, uh, listening to a funny podcast and laughing out loud. Um, all of those things help us cope with stress better. So what is it that you're engaging in your life that helps you cope with stress? And if you can't identify those things being incorporated in your day to day, then it's time to start incorporating those in. I hope you have a wonderful day evening or night. Bye.